CES always brings us the most cutting edge and craziest tech, but sometimes these wild products never actually see the light of day. Here's an update on where our picks of CES 2018 are now. Let's start with the Sony Ibo. The adorable robot dog companion melted plenty of hearts, but when it went on sale in the US in September 2018, it also melted a lot of wallets. It costs an eye-watering $2,900, and while it won't make you a cup of coffee or play your favorite songs like other voice assistants, it will keep you company and generate a lot of virtual pee. One of the most practical discoveries, the Neo Mano Glove. It's a wearable robot that restores strength in the hands of people who are affected by a range of medical conditions. The glove successfully completed its crowdfunding campaign at the end of 2018, with an estimated delivery date of June 2019 for the first backers. LG Display's rollable 65-inch OLED TV was one of the biggest showstoppers at CES. But this is a prototype rather than something that's ready to buy for our living rooms. We haven't heard anything yet on when we might expect this to become an actual product we can buy. But don't be surprised if you see it again at CES 2019 as the foldable, rollable and bendable screen space heats up. Something you can actually put in your home right now is the Whirlpool Wi-Fi microwave. You can scan barcodes on frozen foods to get the right settings or use Alexa or the Google Assistant to preheat the oven. But at $640, it's 10 times more expensive than the Amazon Basics microwave that came out in September, which also has Alexa. The Byton electric SUV was another highlight, but it was just a concept at the time. Now called the M-Byte, it's currently being road tested and it should reach production in China later in 2019. The production model will be available in a rear-wheel or four-wheel drive model. Byton says it will be available in the US in 2020 with prices starting at $45,000. Our final update on the hottest products from CES 2018 is the Razer Project Blinder. It's a laptop with a space for a smartphone to slot right in underneath the keyboard. The idea is the laptop runs Android from the phone so you have a physical keyboard and larger screen. But since CES, we haven't heard anything more on whether or not this is going to become a real product, so we're not holding our breath. For more news about CES 2019, stay tuned to CNET.com.